All right, here we go. Aegis core access. The power's been cut off here, but I think I can help. Just give me a moment. Yes, that works. Let's get going. P perfect. This reminds me of the day I that am falling down into those junkyard offices. Dark room, no lights. Hit the end of a management rail and down I went. Luckily I found you still alive in that vault or I'd have been stuck there forever. <laughs> So, thanks for that. Well, this is going to be, like, difficult to navigate. Careful, careful. Well, so maybe careful. There's a hole oh, yeah. in the floor ahead. That's an interesting idea. With all these shadows being cast, it looks quite cool. Just a bit further and we can get to the mainframe rooms. Which way? What am I doing? What? Oh. There should be a lever near that door to open it up. Um, it stopped. Would you kindly flip that lever? Oh, it's a Bioshock reference. I don't have a choice anymore. I've already flipped it though. Is there another lever? Huh? I already did. Uh, Mel, if you don't use the lever, we're not going anywhere anytime soon. I suppose this is what's supposed to be happening. Oh. You ready, Mel? Strange text. Also, uh, isn't the like lore of Portal that it's only moon rock that is portable, or something like that? And then there's like this wall, apparently, is made of that stuff, but it's not the same as any other portable surface. It's just this is portable for whatever reason. Okay, yeah, the text could have been better there to show that I had opened the thing, but I had something else to do. I thought I just have to wait for a while. Uh, Aperture, Employee, Guardian, and Intrusion Security, Aegis. I could see this being Chapter 5. Would not surprise me. Uh, look, Mel, um, I just wanted there we to go. say something. I, I couldn't have done any of this without your help. If it wasn't for you, I'd still be stuck down there in the junkyard offices. Probably my battery backup would have run out in a few days. So, thanks. So, uh, let's get this done. Whatever happens, mm. I believe in you. Really. Organic threat and mechanical threat number one. Countermeasures activating. All right, so in order to get to the Aegis core, we need to turn on the power, unlock the doors, and replace the turrets. Once that's done, <laughs> we should have a clear shot at Aegis. Let's get going. I see. So I can't just go this way. Nope. 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 Ah, okay. Okay, so there's like three separate things to do, and then that will unlock. All right. Should this one first? I would love to. How? Do I have to do them in a certain order? Oh, that one's open. No, I guess I have to do them in this order. Is it going to be like a chamber? Mm, it's going to be just some kind of weird environment that I have to get through and not die. So was this the power? Maybe. I forgot which one I came into. Like a ninja. Hi, 
There, then shoot me. Any more? Hmm. Can't go through there, so maybe this one. I bet there's someone on either side. Or not. Every vent in here is filled with those turrets. We pulled up every last one of them a long time ago. No, some of them are filled with cubes. In fact, they're all filled with cubes and turrets. Uh. Why am I running slowly? Am I going on the thing or am I going this way? The fact that I can suggests I should. Hmm. That's too steep. Maybe I come back to this and I like I meant to go up that way in a second. Okay, control room one. Oh, okay, maybe the live turrets will show. Okay, so I want to get in there. But first, I have to go to this one. And a bunch of turrets will appear. I guess. Okay, I was yep. wrong. I was wrong. That was a bad idea. The security systems kicked in. You can't open the doors from the inside anymore. Hurry, Whoa. Away, turn that other generator on and then get out of here. Is there anything possible? Oh, I can't get out. Uh, oh, I see. I can get out through the newly opened window. Can I... Is there anything out there? Hmm. Shoot me. Ah. Oh, can I get outside? Yes. Uh, hide. Wait. You just. <laughs> well, I guess manual bypass does work, doesn't it? <laughs> Good work. That's the first part. The security systems are now online. Oh wait. I didn't think this through, did I? Wow. They can see me. So this is the stealth mission bit. Oh, I can't get through. That something just smashed. Don't shoot me. There we go. I can't climb into that, can I? Uh, leave me alone. Didn't I like? I thought. What? I thought pulling that lever in there was supposed to open this place. I guess not. Am I supposed to actually climb on this railing? Maybe. Ah, I'm dead. Hmm. So this is the stealth section of the game. According to my research, the manual startup is over in the control room mm -hmm. or generator two. And it's locked. The control room for generator one has a manual security override though. Give it a try. What's the worst that could happen? Okay, I was wrong. I was wrong. That was a bad Shoot. idea. The security systems kicked in. You can't open the doors from the inside anymore. Hurry. Okay, open can't open the doors. Other generator on and then get out of here. So how do I get them to shoot that? Or shoot a way into that? Wait. Uh, just, how did you? Well, I guess manual bypass does work, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, they can see me. That's the first part. The security systems are now online. 
Oh, wait. Oh, okay. They do shoot that, like, it's scripted for them to shoot that. So clearly I am supposed to climb up through that. But I don't have a good way of hiding from them. Oh, this is... Is there a better way of doing this? Like, oh, oh, what? I swear I tried that already. Also, it doesn't look anything like any other portable surface. Is there anywhere I can go? Back into this one? Ah, oh my gosh. Oops. Should have waited. They need to like shut down before I run ahead, like in front of them. According to my research, the manual startup is over in the control room for generation. Don't say it again. And so is this, that's also possible. But how would I climb up through it? Hmm. Not really. Oh, that's probably possible. Okay. You can't open the doors from the inside anymore. Hurry, find a way to turn that power generator on and then get out of here. Just have to take a few bullets to the face. <laughs> it's fine. Wait. Yeah, that's possible. How did you Well, I guess manual bypass does work, doesn't it? Good work. That's the first part. The okay. Are now online. Oh wait, I didn't think this through, did I? Yeah. All right. And all okay. Right. Now that we have the power turned back on, we need to go to the security room overlooking the bridge to the Aegis core. Now that the security doors have unlocked, we should be able to get there. The security room overlooking bridge. So then, do I go back? Or is there somewhere else to go? I think I go back, right? Usually, if I'm not supposed to go back, they uh, prevent the doors from working. Ah. Well, this is why I use this. Got it. That just suddenly appears. Uh, and then I hop between them, I guess. Cool. Not the best security system in the world. <laughs> you think they would have thought about that? Apparently not. This is going to be different now. No, just walk through. I think we're fine. Okay, we're back. Okay, the other door's open. Uh, but that's just made that worse. Oh well, I guess we'll deal with that later. <laughs> Security testing access. Land on that? What is that? I can't jump on this railing. Really. I guess I just wanted to hit this. <laughs> well, there goes one of them. Whoa! There we go. Sorted. So I guess that's just a, a test chamber that's not in use or something. Well, the exit doesn't go anywhere at least, or the entrance. I might be going in there? Watch it. He's got another one coming. And I think this one took out the 
guards and get to the security room. Preparing new ambush. It's like not the kind of thing uh, an automated system would say. So going up here, but I kind of need to see like what I can mess with. Ah. Doesn't hit them. Oh, that might. Is that not shootable? Nope, it's the yellow stuff. Um, maybe I should just... Why is that there? Huh. What? Maybe I should find out. Well, <laughs> well, that's not solid. Good to know. Okay, uh, well, so I can't really get in there, can I? Ooh, almost fell off there. I can just send Blue Goo to other places. Maybe I just need to run up and then attack them. How? How? Hmm. Okay, what's the trick for this? Can I have something in, in between us? I don't think so. Can't really get in there in any way. Can I make it splash onto the into this platform? I don't think so. Seemingly not. Anything else possible? What's the point of this space? There's got to be a purpose to it. Hmm. What purpose? That's not achieving anything. That's blue. Depa D never die. There's a platform up there. Why are you a thing? It's not like I can go through you. I can't make this jump right. Uh, oh, I can. Unexpected. So I have stuff. I have stuff to play with. Well, of course, I don't jump higher than I started. Um, could I get up any higher? Oh yeah, of course I could, I could do it from here. Right. Well, none of this stuff works. Don't think that's going to work either. Look, it's, the cable is greyed out. Okay, but this does give me access to this. Right, which I can... So I can go through the portal and end up behind them. Got it, got it. Um, but now I'm in here. Ah, that's why that exists. Let's get back out. I see. Just takes a oh gosh, takes a while to like interpret what they're getting at. So just go there. Uh, also, that jump is way too. Um, Precise. 
Hey friends. Okay, I'll put you down. Yeah, there should be. Okay. Okay, now we have a, a thingy, a funnel. A funnel to go over there, or over there, or somewhere. Should we bounce up if we can? Oh, this is active. We have a cube. And we have a button, which changes the direction of the funnel, probably. Yep. Okay. And what do we want to do with that? I can't jump up that high. I don't think I need to, though. I just need to get you to do something. Is the, does that exist to drop back down onto? Probably. So blue is the... Whoa. Yep. That was set up specifically to do that. So I was doing... I'm doing the right thing. Um, am I going over here? That way. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. But I am. <laughs> Maybe I just end up shooting somewhere else. Oh, or I bounce off of that to go somewhere? What? Well, this is not great. Oh, <laughs> you can't go down that far. Okay. The goo can, but I can't. Got it. One f rule for us and another rule for them. Scripts and events again. Maybe we just go up here. Oh, I didn't put the thing on the thing. There. That's probably where it goes. But I did not put the box on the on there. Let's just do this. Uh, box. You go here. Then we go out, climb up, shoot the thing on the wall, and then see where it takes us. Hopefully, somewhere okay. There. Okay, onto there. And hopefully, I can walk through that door. Right. Security room. Is this the am I getting to the end of the game? Great, you're there. There should be a switch around this room. Once you flip it, Aegis's main security systems will go down. I see that's the corridor. That's the bit that I was in. It's the central room, that's the, the bridge across. Yep. Uh oh. Ah, right, the turrets. Uh, well, it seems he's diverted all the power that was going to the death kisslers into the turret production. Which, hang on, that's not so bad. Get back to the elevator room. Time to turn the tables on Aegis. I see, we're gonna use them against him. Maybe. Alright, all that's left is those turrets. Remember how we pumped up the old turrets? This is where they might get useful. Head to the manufacturing line. Okay, here's the plan. We've got to take the turret production line down. So, there's about three ways I know to do this. The first should be easy and works most of the time. So, go into the scanner area and take the turret out. Without the model, the turrets can't be built. Right, it's not going to be this simple though, is it? 
Ooh, look at this. Uh, am I standing in a dangerous place right now? Oh no, it gets boxed up and stands away. That's quite funny. Use me as the template. So, third idea. We gotta override the targeting system on these ones manually. There's a targeting control room. It's nearby. Just be ready to run. I'll get the door open. You ready to run? When? Live turrets. <laughs> Was there a portable surface back here? Anywhere? Hmm, no. It's gotta be one like. Oh, there's like. That's going to break, isn't it, surely? This is weirdly working. This is a surprise. Where am I going with this? Where next? Where next? Where next? Uh, help me. Help me. Where now? Ah! Apparently they can't see me here. Where am I going? Uh. Where am I going? I don't think I'm supposed to be over here. <laughs> I think there's an invisible wall. Hmm. Uh, okay. What do I do? There's obviously a portable wall for a reason. For what reason? Oh. <laughs> Perhaps that reason. Presumably you can't just run. Although I think they definitely set up something here where it's like, if you're close to this thing, they don't shoot at you. But there's a special trigger to stop them from shooting. Wow, that's how they determine what to shoot at. Oh. Oh, okay, I see. So this is the Aegis memory bank, so am I gonna make it shoot at that? Thanks. Thanks for spelling it out to me. But where? Out here? Do I have to go out to do it? That's glassed up. Maybe I have to do a portal out here and then bring it out through the portal. Place the wooden server in the scanner. That should make it shoot servers instead of humans. Okay, well I'm not going that way yet, apparently. I don't have access to the scanner though. Really. 
There is a door, but I can't go through it. Oh. Hmm. That door does not have glass in it. Oh. Oh, I'm clever. Thanks. Oh, I can't take this out. So I want to do an experiment. I want to see if they would shoot this, because it... Oh no, because it's also me. <laughs> that experiment wouldn't work. I guess if I had another of the Aegis things, I could test it like that. Hello? No, we're good. Nice. Oh, now I'm here. On the other side of this uh, invisible wall. Okie dokie, is this the end? There's a sixth chapter, isn't there? Right, is that just the explanation for why these ones suddenly are aware of the change? Sure. Like these are all the same kinds of walls, but they don't they don't let portals go on them. How strange. I was the same kind of wall as in those offices before, where I was, I was definitely doing this. Oh, that's the emergency exit elevator. Once we shut down Aegis, we should be able to use it to get you out of here. Convenience. Unfortunately, there are no management rails in there, so you'll have to do it without me. But don't worry though, I'll be watching from back here and help you if needed. Back where? Oh, there. Hello, you're here. This is it. This is Aegis's server room. Get ready for this. It won't give up without a fight. Boss fight? Well, it seems that he's booting up his security. It doesn't seem to know about the turrets yet. He'll be in for quite a shock. Careful. The water is electrified. Oh. The damage that pumping up the water did. Almost a quarter of the servers are completely destroyed. Not bad for a simple maintenance score. A anyways, try to find a way to the back of the room. There's a turret dispenser over there. Uh. Oh, stuck. There we go. Look up. There's a portal surface above the water pipe. You should be able to use that to cross over to the other side. Okay, this has got very handholdy. What is going on? Ah, great. I slipped. Yeah, where did he start to tell me what to do? So aren't these the things that they're they're programmed to shoot? Yes. 
that turret and destroy the rest of them. Turret targeting parameters compromised. Searching for alternative defensive measures. Shoot them. Ah, they fall over. We pump them up. stuff. Wait, what? What am I doing? Don't actually tell me. I want to find out for myself. But what could I be doing? Is there a button to press or something? Maybe I come up here later. And then the glass is open. Hmm. Should I just go back? If I can. Oh, it's so easy to get stuck on this stuff. Do I want to go there? Surely not. Don't those need destroying? They look a little bit different. Oh, sorry. Okay, whatever. A new one comes back. I guess it doesn't care about those. Yeah. Can I get back? Seems so. Maybe. Yeah. Is this before or after I put that fire out? Doesn't seem to be any light coming from it, although... Right, okay. After. Okay, there we go. Initiating asphyxiation program. Draining oxygen. Uh-oh. Okay, actually a timer. Just a few minutes before all the oxygen is gone. If you can't shut him down before he shuts you down, the entire facility will flood with the toxic goo that is still pumping up. Ah, oh, don't fall over. Ah, oh, stop it. Strange that it doesn't shoot while it's being held. There we go. Looks like there's just like a bunch of these to shoot. Damn. Hey, step back up. Ooh, okay. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, I should be able to see all of them. Yep. Yeah. That's half the servers on this site blown up. There are a few more upstairs. Go destroy them too. Get upstairs. You're a good one or a bad one? You're a bad yeah. one. Ah. But we don't have much time left. 
Hurry. Guys from past you. Yes. But you're not gonna shoot that, are you? Oh. Stop it. Uh okay. <laughs> sure, you exploded. Um okay, so that I have a way in. So go and get the other turrets. Don't look at me, please. Ah! Ah, they can't see me. Hmm, that was bad. Hey, at least my time has come back. Partially. Oh, fully. Okay, Mel, this is it. You have just a few minutes before all the oxygen is gone. If you can't shut him down before he shuts you down, the entire facility will fall on you that is still not enough. Yep, there we go. It's quite difficult to get them to see all of the things at the same time. So can I get rid of you? And then are you gone forever or do you come back? So you're gone forever. Okay, so let's do this again. Uh, explodes! There we go. <laughs> Turns out that opened at some point. Two minutes. And there's one more room over there, as far as I know. Okay, fling how? Through a window up there, right? Through there. Probably then. Come with me. Don't fall over. Go away. Oh, there's one there as well. Go away. You blow stuff up. One minute. There we go. Oh, that hurts. In the main uh, frame. The toxic goo from flooding the facility here, <laughs> you know. Uh, you should be able to fling yourself on top of him. There's a hatch on him you can open to manually shut it down from the inside. Fling from where? Ah. I see. But then just like a small drop, or like is this drop big enough? Or is it going to be one of those situations where it's just like, eh, sure, we'll just send you that way anyway. Oh, okay. 
Oh. Pre rendered. What about chapter six? That seems to be the user control interface. You can control its entire functions from here. I can walk you through some of what you need to do. First things first, stop the toxic goo from pumping up. <laughs> you should be able to contain it in test shaft Lima whiskey. Oh wait, Mel. Before shutting this thing down completely, remember that there was a third target it was trying to take out? Well, we're not three, unless you can tell me otherwise. I'm pregnant. <laughs> Try to see what you can do. <laughs> Type um, ping underscore target underscore and it's list. And it's baby, and I just killed him. Am, am I reading this right? Was this thing trying to destroy her? It was targeting GLaDOS? Mel. What have we done? The Glass writing is so every cringy. This facility before being destroyed by a tenacious test subject. This thing, Aegis. It was trying to finish the job and flood the facility to destroy. What the a team. twist! Mel, we might just have given Glados a chance to get back in power. How could we have done that? Why didn't I see it sooner? Fortunately, I've seen the future. Well, I'm pretty sure she's not back. Here now is your best chance. You don't want to be around when she comes back online. You should shut down Aegis now. Needs a passcode. Now it should be around here somewhere. Could it possibly be two zero five six? I feel like. They wanted this to be interactive and then decided to sort of pre render the thing. 2056. 2056 is the year. I've number around a lot in this place. Strange. It's done. It's done. <laughs> Aegis is in its final shutdown sequence. Mel, come back to the lift. I can get you out of this facility. Okay, Mel. The elevator is in lockdown until you put your portal device in the incinerator over there. Oh. Think about what you can do on the outside world, except there's no moon rock anywhere, so I guess you can't really do anything. Uh, Mel, I, I just wanted to say something. Thank you. Thank you so much. Really, if it weren't for you, I would have drowned at the offices in the junkyard. I'm so sorry about lying to you in the beginning. It was a pretty bad Cave Johnson impression. <laughs> anyway, this thing should take you out of here, back to your normal life. Well, whatever you can call normal by this point. I don't know exactly what's out there, but it should be better than what's down here. So, just enjoy the rest of your life. Better than what's down Look, here. The elevator is here. <laughs> what a weird way to say it. See you later, Mel. There we go, it's just like Portal Reloaded, so there are going to be zombies outside. Sorry, spoilers for that game if you haven't played it. It's curious that they both went for pre-rendered endings. Maybe Portal 1 and Portal 2 did as well, I don't really remember quite how they ended. Well, actually, yeah, one of the men's with you being outside the... I shouldn't talk, should I? People might not have played those games. All right, up we go, I can see some light. The plants make a bit more sense now. This is very similar to the portal reload ending. Hey, 
Hey, it's me. And it's the, the place where I first came in, right. Although it seems much smaller. Three, four. Also, where's the train station that I came in on? The end. I'm still curious. There's a chapter six in the menu, at least. Usernames and real names. Sorry, Stephen Ferguson, for moaning about the <laughs> environment design. <laughs> like the environment design, like I said, it was good. Um, it's just, I think, not the right game for it. Really, sort of the right kind of game. Sorry, Ian. Ooh, ooh. Vice, Vis, Visa, and Stig Sitagen. Or whoever it was, I don't know. I don't know who did which voices. Oh, there we go. Now I do. Interesting. I still, I'm still curious about chapter 6. There is a chapter 6 in the menu, right? Maybe I just am misremembering. I guess thoughts right now. Um, I mean, it was good. I quite enjoyed it. Um, kind of similar to how I felt about Pulse Reloaded. I quite enjoyed it. Um, there were a bunch of decent puzzles in there, and it was, you know, it was good to play with portals again. Also, this was clearly very... It, a lot of effort went into it. Like, so did Portal Reloaded. Um, I think that was more of a one-person effort. This was like a group effort. You can see a lot of passion was put into it, um, which is really nice. Uh, I guess my complaints about the environments are already noted. Some of the puzzles had weird endings to them. They didn't feel like they utilized everything as much as they could have done. What's going on? This is a double twist. Subject zero zero one shell, whatever. What's the implication? <laughs> is, that, is that suggesting that portal one begins after this? What that can't be right. Okay, is there not a... Oh, there is not, okay. I thought there were six chapters. That is indeed the end. Um, yeah, um, it was good. I enjoyed the puzzles and the chambers and stuff. I obviously didn't enjoy the in-between stuff that much. It was well done. Like, they, you know, they did some fun things with it. Um, and again, I kind of preferred it when I wasn't being asked to, like, find awkward portal spots to shoot. That wasn't too bad around that portal, that, that, that bit with the turrets where I had to bounce behind them and... Not bounce behind them, where I had to get the blue goo all over them and then get behind the next set towards the end there. That was, that was alright, I guess. But yeah, any time they go outside of the chambers, there just becomes more, way more fuzziness to the whole thing. And it's just not that fun to solve puzzles when it's that fuzzy. Whether it's fuzziness in terms of like, I can't see what it's trying to tell me to do, or... I can't see a portal surface, or I can't quite tell if I can jump that gap, or I can't tell if there'll be an invisible wall in that place, those kinds of things, that, that just all crops up, whereas within a chamber, there's like clear rules, although 
they were broken a little bit, but in a clean chamber, like an unbroken chamber, there are very clear rules about what's portable, what's not, um, and just a few distractions. And then in the like more broken down chambers, it starts to get a bit fuzzier. Um, and then the in-between areas are like the ultimate fuzziness because it's not even clear what the goal is. Um, but, you know, they wanted to do a story and I think it makes sense to do what they did given they wanted to tell this particular story. The story of Mel. Do they all end in L? As in Shell, Mel. Who was I in Portal Reloaded? Did I have a name? I'm not sure. So it was chapter three where I started off in advanced mode. I don't think I need to go back and do those others. Mm. There are some that I'm curious to see. The problem is I'll have to walk through them again. Oh, actually, did they start at chapter two? They did, didn't they? Should we do chapter two again? Maybe. 